Samsung first introduced SUHD TVs at CES 2015, but now that they're waging a huge advertising campaign on television, everybody is picking up on this new kind of Ultra HD television. But the SUHD TV thing is confusing some people. So what does SUHD TV actually mean? Well, first you gotta remember that when 4K UHD first came out, it was just about resolution, four times the resolution of 1080p. But now Ultra HD means something more. So how do brands differentiate between the old UHD and this new super duper UHD? Well, if you're Samsung, you create a new name, SUHD. Now people are asking, what does the S in SUHD stand for? Well, some people think it stands for super or stylish or special or even Samsung, but the S doesn't actually stand for any word in particular. In fact, Samsung kind of likes the idea of you using your imagination to fill in the blank. But the S does actually stand for something. In this case, it stands for the two factors that make SUHD better than UHD. And that would be high dynamic range and wide color gamut. Now we've got Samsung's top of the line JS9500 SUHD TV right here, so we can show you what the difference is all about. So a little bit of a disclaimer here. You really have to see this TV in person to understand what it can do. We're gonna do our best to highlight some of the key differences, but keep in mind, you're viewing this brand new display technology through older display technology that can't give you the full effect. First, let's talk about wide color gamut, or WCG for short. Essentially, it means way more colors, like in the billions. In fact, movie makers have been dumbing down the color in the home release versions of their films, even Blu-rays, because standard TVs couldn't reproduce those colors. But new color Color technology now allows high-end TVs like this one to produce shades and hues that look more like what we see in real life, and even exotic colors that movie makers create for their art. Take this clip from Ridley Scott's Exodus movie. Ridley Scott himself remastered this segment, so the river of blood here is this incredible shade of red. Unfortunately, you can't get the full effect of it from this video because, in part, you don't have a wide color gamut display yet that can make this shade of red. You can imagine the possibilities, though. For the first time you'll see leaves on TV that are the exact same shade of green as real life, and aquamarine oceans you once had to travel to the Caribbean to see will now appear in your living room. The other piece of this new breed of UHD is high dynamic range, or HDR for short. HDR refers to a TV's ability to produce a broader range of luminosity, or brightness and darkness. Again, like wide color gamut, HDR is meant to make a picture look more lifelike in a literal sense of the word. So think about how bright the shimmer of the sun reflecting off a lake can be, or how a diamond refracts bright glints of light when it sparkles. The benefits of HDR also influence color, so with brighter and deeper shades coming to every hue. Now with HDR, highlights will be brought to your TV and look closer to what you witness in real life. But there's a big catch to all of this. There's no HDR or wide color gamut content out there right now. That's why we're showing you the same 60 second loop because it's the only content that we can use for now. The good news is that it's coming. Netflix and Amazon and Vudu promise they're all gonna be streaming HDR content. And when Ultra HD Blu-ray discs come out, we're gonna see some really good stuff. The reason we're waiting for all that content though is because the UHD Alliance is still setting the standard for UHD. They're adding in wide color gamut and HDR and how you deliver it. All that stuff's being figured out right now. But going forward, you won't have to have a special stamp like SUHD TV because all UHD TVs will cover wide color gamut and HDR. And in fact, every major manufacturer is already making a TV like this. They just call it something different. So we're in kind of a funky time, but the good news is tomorrow's UHD TV is going to look better than any other TV we've ever seen before.